Keep going, I just yeah, we'll keep going oh. because obviously we just want to get him to lay down oh, first. Okay. Is it still recording? Recording now. have a bed in every room in the house mm. that he's allowed in. So a bed in here, a bed, I don't know actually because that's your house, yeah, but a bed by the front door. Anywhere that Gus is allowed, that way, when he's pacing around, when he's struggling to settle down, what you do is, like, bed, is you just send him to his bed. Mm. And if he knows bed means bed, I have to go there, lay down, and wait till I'm released, break, like so. Then he'll start to relax because he's all, we've already got him going into that position and laying down. That's what bed means to Gus. Bed means go all the way there now and lay down. So Gus bed. So now he's waiting for break. If I'm consistent, he's waiting for that release word. Okay. So if I'm consistent with it and only ever release him or give him further instructions, if he gets out by himself, I have to put him straight back. Mm. Right? But if I am consistent with it, the next step for him, while he waits to be released, he's already in his comfy position, is to do is to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have to release him the second he lays down. In the beginning I do, so I teach him, okay, as soon as you go to your bed and lay down, that's what gets you released. Mm -hmm. Now, if you notice, he's laying down, and I'm building up yeah. more duration yeah. waiting for him. Yeah, we were um, sending him to his bed, and then just okay, letting okay. him get up and go whenever he wanted, basically. Yeah. Break. yeah, so he knew the action of bed, yeah. but yes. he didn't know that bed means go all the way there, yeah. stay there, yeah. relax and relax. And like I said, most people, when they tell me, my dog knows bed, sit down, all this nonsense. <laughs> but the dog, the reality is they know the action of it. They don't know that it's an actual behaviour with so much more to it. So yeah. like, my, yes. I went into a house the other day, dog went to its bed. So he goes to his bed, yeah, straight back out. He goes to his bed, straight back out. Yeah. So yeah. you know, because it's been taught that bed just means go on here for a second and then get back out. Yeah. So that's what bed means. It's the same yeah. as sit. Most people say sit, give the dog a treat, and then the dog moves away. Yeah. So the dog knows the action of sit, but he doesn't know that sit means sit until you get released. Yeah. The way we teach bed is the same way we teach sit, obviously without the laying down part, because obviously that's not sit there. But it's like the dog has to sit, and stay there until we give them a release command or further instructions. Yeah. Gus, Ed. Ed. See, what we were doing also, we were doing bed. Well, you weren't doing it because you're better at this than me, but I was doing multiple commands. So I was doing bed and then wait. Mm -hmm. But bed is wait. Mm -hmm. The stay's implied. Yeah. That, 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 that's the why we don't implied, use wait or yeah. stay. See, because if he's waiting for that release command, I don't need to say stay, stay, wait, wait, nothing like that. Because bed mm. means bed. The people that have to use the word stay and wait are people that don't re that aren't using proper markers, and are letting the dog get away with things. Mm. So if people go, I'm teaching the dog sit means sit. Guilty. But then I have to say stay. No, you're no, not. Because right. if you're teaching them sit means sit properly or bed means bed properly, that's where the stay is implied, until they have that release word mm. or further instructions, you don't need the word mm. stay. But if you, if again, it's little things like sending the dog to its bed and letting it get away. People let them get away with the little things without realising. That's mm. why you have to use the word stay or wait. Yeah. yeah. Where in reality, I want to teach him bed means go all the way to bed, lay down and chill out. So look, he's laying down. See how he's calming down as well? Yeah, he is calming down, yeah. His pupils are beginning to return to normal yeah. colour as well. So, bed. Yeah, that's really, really helpful, that. 
break motion, isn't it? Yeah. See, and he's waiting for that word. Yeah. So then I can add in duration, distraction. Notice that he was there a lot longer that time before yes. I released him. Yeah. Because I'm consistent, so the stay is implied. I don't have to go, Gus, stay, stay, wait, wait, no. wait, wait. Because the stay is implied. Yeah. Bed means bed until I release you. And this is what a lot of people need to get their head around. Same as sit. Sit. It's one word, one command, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Sit. No. Sit. <laughs> sit. Break. So I can release it from the sit. Or I can sit. Eye contact. Yes. Comes to me. Yeah, I've seen you do that. Yeah. yeah. Yes yeah, means, right, we're going through his markers. So yes means you've done it right. Come to me and get a reward. Okay. Break means you're released. You're a free dog. So if I ask you to do something, you're a free dog. Okay. I'm throwing rewards at the minute because if I just say break to him, he's going to be like, what the hell are you saying? Yeah. So that's what gets him to go away. Once he understands break, we stop throwing the trees okay. because it's self-rewarding. You've now been put in a position or to your bed. And now you're free. So that is the reward. When you say yes, that means that he's still under control in a way. He, yeah, he, he has to used, come to me. He has to come yeah. to you with the yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. for instance, if... I wanted to release him from a position but didn't want him to run and be a completely free yeah. dog, I'm going to use the word yes. I want him to know he's done it right. Good. This is where people go wrong as well. They say, good boy, good boy, good boy, and let the dog move. But the diff problem is, if the dog's staying there for a long time, what word are you going to use to let the dog know it's done something good, even though you want them to hold that position? So, just say for instance, he's in a down. Down. So just remind him that he's in a down. Good. Down. What did he Boy, down. So good boy means you're doing no down. Down. Good boy, good girl, good means you're doing it right. Down. <coughs> but hold your position. Yeah. Right. So if he's been there for a while, like in his bed, I can go over to him from time to time and go, good. Give him a treat. But he knows, okay, I'm doing it right, but mm -hmm. I need to stay put. Yeah. But if you go, yes, good boy, good boy. Down. Then every time you say good boy or good girl to your dog. Down. They're gonna they're, no, down. They're gonna move. Yeah. Because they think they can. Yeah. Because they think that's the break. So yes means you've done it right, come to me and get your no. Down. Yes means you've done it right, come to me, get your reward. Down. Down. Yes means you've done it right, come to me, get your reward. Good means you've done it right. The reward is coming to you, so stay put. And break just means free dot. Yeah. Down. Is in a down. So I've got down. Down. <laughs> down. So you don't really use stay down. Then, Adam? No, because I use my markers properly. Down. Yeah. Down. See, he struggles with it. Down. Down. He knows what it means, but mm. his body can't yeah. contain him. See, yeah. this anxiety. Yeah. Yes. I'll give him a win because he's really struggling. <coughs> Gus, bed. Bed. So again, we'll just wait. So I've got several options. I can go to him if he's been there for a while. Good. Bed, but he has to stay there. Yeah. So if I've got guests around, but they don't necessarily like dogs, or they might be elderly, something like that, he knows he has to stay there. But from time to time, I can let him know he's doing bed. From time to time, I can let him know that what he's doing is good, but he has to obviously hold his position still. The reward's coming to you. Yeah. Well done, buddy. Yeah. You're doing good, but stay put for a little yeah. while longer until you hear the word break. It's on the floor. Come on, donut, I know. Right there, look, there you go. <laughs> and, until he hears that word. When he hears that word, eventually the treat won't be thrown because it's the reward is, right, now you're free to be Gus yeah. again. You're free, so if you're going to let him off the lead on the field, you put him in a sit, unclip his lead, eye contact, break. Yeah. Off you go. It's, yeah. it's environmental, it's self rewarding. Yeah. yeah. If I wanted him to come to me, Gus, bed. Good. Yes. Comes to me. Yeah. Mm. 
practice this. Practice this when you're having dinner, send him to his bed. When you're making a cup of tea, send him to his bed. You may have to put him back several times, but yeah. this is one of the easiest things to teach. And the reason it's so easy to teach is because all you have to do is put him back. All you have to do is be more strong-willed than Gus. So Gus gets off the bed, you put Gus back. Gus gets off the bed, you put Gus back. If you've got a tall dog or a dog that runs and plays, turns it into a game, put him on the lead. That way you can step on the lead and take more control of them yeah. and everything. Are you getting so excited? Ed? What do you think that licking is, Adam? Anxiety? It's, yeah, it's anxiety. anxiety. Yeah. He, 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 struck bed. he struggles to switch off. See, if you look at this one here, she's quite happy, chilled out. Mm. Okay? Gus doesn't know how to switch off. So this is actually going to really, 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 really help Gus. Bed. And we can just wait. Bed. Keep my chin. It's lovely. Break. You practice it and then just keep him in there for a while yeah. and eventually it becomes that place to go. Look, when you got when you need something to do, when you're struggling to relax, go to your bed. Because even though it's go to bed and do nothing, it's still go to your bed and do mm -hmm. you're still doing something. You're just doing nothing, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Because now now, now we're turning it into a good thing. So anytime he gets stressed, anytime he gets concerned, anytime he's struggling to switch off. There's bed. That's your place to go and relax, chill out. Nothing bad ever happens to you in bed. That's why we don't correct the dogs when they come out of it. We'll never give the dog physical corrections or scream at the dog for coming out of it because we want the dog to associate that as mm. awesome. We don't drag dogs onto it. We don't force dogs onto it because we want bed to be that place of relaxation. Mm. And if I'm creating a negative association to it, the dog is going to do it, but it's going to be more anxious than when it first went on there. I want the dog to just completely see that place. And the yeah. same as the crate. I want the dog to completely see that place as just the place of... Because that's what it is. Mm. Yeah. He can get up. I didn't send him there. Oh. I didn't oh. send him to his bed. Oh, okay. Okay? And so I just want to make you aware of that. If you send Gus to his bed, he has to stay in his bed until you release him or give him further instructions. Yeah. But if Gus goes to bed by himself, he can get out by himself. If oh, Gus lays oh, down by himself, he yeah. can get up by himself. Because we're not building robots. But if you ask him to do something, he has to do yeah. it until you give him further oh, instructions. Yeah. Okay? And a lot of it is just consistency. Yeah. Be consistent with it. Okay. Yeah. Right, let's see what it's like outside. On the walk. Yeah, 